Hello all, it's time to do the great battery face-off. Okay, we have the IMR2250. These are, they call them hybrid, uh, they call them hybrid hydrain batteries. They're 2,250 mAh. And they're char and the battery's charged to 4.19. Now, this is by the way is the equivalent supposedly to the uh, Panasonic uh, CGR 18650CH, but it has the button top. Now, we have something totally new, and you're, it's very hard to read it because either this is counterfeit because that's the reason why it's not on there heavier. That's how they do it. But basically, this is a Sony US 18650UVTC3. Okay, this battery is fascinating. It's rated at only 1600 mAh. Okay, but it's supposed to do 30 amps continuous. Okay. This battery is 10 amps burst and 16 amps. So the question is, on a mechanical, okay, is there going to be a difference, okay, between the higher MAH battery or the one, the new one from Sony, okay? Well, we're going to find out, okay? This is not... Uh, this is real world testing. This is not, uh, you know, that uh, testing where you have all that fancy equipment. We just got to make do with what we have. And what really matters is what happens once it gets into your hands. Okay. So, anyway, this is a tankometer. Okay. I bought it from uh, e sig Supply. Okay. And what this will do is it will tell me the volts. You know, both under load and not under load. So let's see what happens when we put in our uh, Panasonic. That's what the that's really what the um, you know the Orbitronic is. It's just a relabeled Panasonic Hydrain. Okay, naturally takes a little bit of screwing in. It's always easy to screw this in, except when I'm on camera. Okay. Tighten it up. Okay. And. Okay. I tested both batteries at 4.19 on my uh, multimeter. Okay. What is this battery going to test at? Hmm. Not testing anywhere. Let's screw this in a little further. Screw this in. Uh, we got to undo the lip. And 4.20 exactly is what it's pushing out on the Panasonic. Okay. Now I have here an AGA. This one I tested with my multimeter at 0.5 ohm. So we're going to put it on our tankometer. All right. And I am dying to find out what we're going to see. What is the voltage drop under load going to be? 3.67, 3.59, 3.58, 3 3.56, 3.49. It just keeps going down under load. But if you give it a little while to recover, ooh, I can smell it uh, burning. I better take a few vapes here. Okay, this one's got stainless steel mesh, 3.68, 3.68, 3.67, 3.69, 3.69, 3.69, 3.69, 3.69, 3.69, 3.69, 3.69, 3.69, 3.69, 3.69, 3.69, 3.69, 3.69, 3.69, 3.69, 3.69, 
Okay, that's the question of the hour, because this battery is like so totally new. It's not up on the forums. I found it hidden away, and you can't buy it just about anywhere. I had to go to Flea Bay for it. Okay, and are we ready? Uh, first, we got to do it not under load. Okay, and we come up with 4.19. Okay, so it puts out just a little bit less to begin with. Hmm. Are we ready? Three point seven five, three point seven three, three point seven one, three point six eight, three point six nine. This battery kicks ass. And by the way, this is the first time using it, so I can only expect that the performance will uh, get better. So thumbs up to the Sony 30 amp drain battery. Yeah.